Wednesday, January 10th. Now, Sister Freddie was, uh, well, she was a lot to deal with. It was, it was hard to know how to get on her good side because it was hard to know where her good side was. Fortunately for me, I didn't care. I, I, I just didn't care. I mean, she was entertaining and that was good enough for me. And I watched how some kids, uh, mostly girls, tried desperately to get in Sister Freddie's good graces. But that was hard too, because, you know, what pleased her on one day did not please her on the next day. And then there was her weird system of punishments. We could never understand what they were about. Like this one time, it was a cold January day, and she made us all get into our coats and our hats and our gloves and everything. And then she had us go outside and march around the school building five times. We had no idea why we were doing this. And she just stood there pleased with herself. Uh, another time, she had us turn all our desks around so that we were facing the back of the classroom and she was facing the back of our heads. Uh, I don't know why she did that either. Or or the jellyfish song. You know, she would sing it to us to kind of degrade us. And, and we got into it and we would sing it with her, sing it about ourselves. We're wishy-washy jellyfish, no backbone, we're spineless never amount to anything. La-dee-da-dee-da. Sing along, you know. So, and then there was this other side to Sister Freddy. Just when you thought you had an understanding of her, she'd do something that would surprise you. Like this one time we were going out of the school building, walking along the sidewalk, and apparently the night before, a cat had been killed in the road by a car. And there were these two eighth grade boys poking at its lifeless body with a stick. Oh, she charged right over to them. She pulled them away from it. She said, how would you like to be poked with a stick when you're crumbled up on the side of the road? Uh, sister, one of them said. Sister, it's just a dead thing. <gasps> the, the body is the vessel of the soul. Whoa. Okay. Well, in this school, we were taught that only humans had souls. And Sister Freddie had just, well, she just contradicted what the school talked about. Ah, anyway, she sent some girls inside to her desk to get a box of tissues and they came back with it and she carefully pulled out a whole bunch of tissues and she wrapped up the poor little dead cat's body. And then she marched us all the way across to the convent where the rose bushes were because she planned to bury it there. But it was January. The ground was frozen solid. So she had us go around the building to where there was a heap of stones and we all had to bring some stones back and we piled all of these stones on top of the little dead cat against the wall there. And the last thing that she did was she said a prayer, the Our Father, over, over the little body to pray for the dead cat's soul, which she now told us animals have. Huh. Well, we'll do another one tomorrow. See you then.